Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm nervous. Nervous? You don't <laughs> nervous. have to be nervous. It's just a normal presentation. Just a normal presentation. Yes. So don't get nervous. Good. We also have Joshua. Good evening, Joshua. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Are you ready for the presentation, Joshua? Yeah. I am ready for the presentation, teacher. Good, 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 good. And we also have Cecilia. Good evening, Cecilia. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Fine, you? Good. Good, good, good. Mr. Raskin, are you ready, um, Cecilia? No. No. You have to say the yes because you must be ready. Good. Good evening, Hugo. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. And we also have Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Good. Thanks for asking. And we also have Constantino. Good evening, Constantino. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. And you? Good. Are you ready for the presentation? Yeah, I hope. I hope. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Good. I and hope. good. And we also have Nancy. Good evening, Nancy. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very well. And you? Good. Good. Thanks for asking. Nancy, did you enter um, from an? Did you enter from another device, from a computer or a cell phone? Because I'm sorry. What? Did you access from another computer or cell phone? No. Because you have another name. Now you have Nancy Claudio. Ah, I'm sorry. So I thought that it was. Ready. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now let's see the other one is David. Good evening, David. How are you? Well, he's connecting the audio right now. But we have Christian. Good evening, Christian. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Um, I'm good. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. And we also have Adolfo. Good evening, Adolfo. How are you? Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Well, everything is okay. <laughs> I am fine. <laughs> I said I said that the presentation will be between 7:20 or 7:30. There are some people who ask for permission for the traffic jam. For example, let's see. Well, I have a person who had a problem with the the electricity, the power, and that person is Carolina. So Carolina has problem with the power, but she's going to connect from her cell phone because her cell phone doesn't have enough charge, but he's going to try to connect when it is the time for the presentation with Christian. So she's going to be probably at the end. Now we have David over there. Good evening, David. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Fine, you? How are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So as you know, we need to have attendance at the beginning of the class and also at the end of the class. So I'm going to ask for your names and you're going to say present when I mention your name. So you're going to see it on the screen right now. Can you see it guys? I guess it is loading right now, but you will see it in some seconds. Yes, teacher. Good. All right. So, first person, 
Well, Cesar is connecting right now. First person, Felix Ernesto Castellanos. He's not here right now, but probably in some minutes. Well, he has to be in some minutes because he has a presentation. Now, Josue Mundo Avalos. Present teacher. Good, Joshua. Then Carlos Eduardo Barrera is not here right now, but probably in some minutes. Cesar Santiago Benavides. Present. Good. Then we have Christian Armando Cardona. Present. Good. Well, Herman Castillo is from Insafort. So next person is Adolfo Alberto Castro. Present. Good. Then we have Cecilia Guadalupe Castro. Present. Good. Next one, Nancy Yasmin Claudio. Present. Good. Then we have David Ricardo de Leon. Present. Good. Then we have Carolina Flores. She's not here right now, but probably at the end of the class because she has a presentation. Then Hugo Ernesto Fonseca. Present. Good. Uh, Melvin Jonathan Gallardo. Present. Good. Oscar and Armando Gomez. Present. Good. Constantino Guardado Guardado. Present. Good. Uh, Flor Mestizo is from Insoport. Now, Raul Alfredo Quintanilla. He's not here. And there is someone who joined some minutes. Let's see, Luis. So Luis is here. What is Luis? Luis. Hey. Okay, Luis, let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Luis, Luis. Luis Antonio Dominguez, right? So it's here. So as you can see, he's pressing the order. Good. So we are going to have attendance also at the end of the class. Good. So we only have some minutes. Sorry. No problem. We, we only have some minutes before your presentation. Yes. And for those who couldn't be in class yesterday, like Nancy, David, Luis, Carlos, and Raul, you have to go to Schoology and you have to watch the class that we had yesterday. You can find it in two parts. And the reason is because I don't know what happened yesterday, but suddenly I logged out, but the rest of people was in class. So the class continued, but I could see them, but they couldn't see me. And then I just entered, I don't know how, but I just appeared over there. So that's why it is divided into parts. So you will see it like in two videos. But after you finish the first one, you go to the second one and you can finish watching the class. And that class is super important. So I really, really, really suggest that you watch that class because it is important. If not, you can ask your classmates. Yes. Now, uh, for today, we have the last topic that we have for the unit number one. And we also have presentations. If you remember, presentations are about companies, so you have to create the mission, the vision, departments that you have in the, the, the company, your responsibilities, like I'm in charge of, and my partner is in charge of, and you say what? Then you also need to create more things like um, extra information, what the company is about, if you sell, what kind of products you sell, or if you, offer a service, what kind of service you offer and things like that. So it is like general information about the company. Now, for the last topic that we have, we are going to be able to describe a process and this is going to be simple and easy. So when I say simple and easy, that means that you all will be able to do it. Now, there are two different ways that you can speak. Or, or say your ideas, you can use active 
voice, like when I say, for example, David, what do you do in your free time? David? Hello, hello, teacher. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I watching the series in I the Netflix. I watching. Mm -mm. I uh, watch. Exactly. I watch series and on in the Netflix. On Netflix. On Netflix. Good. So as you can see, what David is saying is active. How do you know that it's active? Because the person Watch. that performs the action is at the beginning of the sentence. So you're saying, I watch series on Netflix. So I is the subject, the person that performs the action. Watch is the verb and series is the object or complement of the sentence. So this is the way that we normally speak. Yes, like 90% of the times you're going to use this kind of a structure. First the subject, then the verb, and then the object or the complement. Now, another example, Nancy. Mm. What's something that you hate doing? What's something that you hate doing? What is I something you doing? Yes. Wash the dishes. The dishes. I hate. <laughs> wash the dishes. Washing. Washing the dishes. Good. So I hate washing the dishes. So as you can see, uh, Nancy is saying the same thing. I hate washing the dishes. Yes. So you use the same structure. I subject hate the verb. Uh, washing the dishes is like the object or the complement. Now let's see Oscar. What time do you get up in the morning? I get up at um, 4 a.m. Good. So Oscar is repeating exactly the same information. I, the subject, get up is the verb. At 6 a.m. is the compliment. Now, next person, Cecilia. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, yes what? Uh, but, amo, hermano, hermano, sister and brother. Cecilia? Sister and brothers. So you have sister and brothers. Hola. Siblings. Yes. Good. So Cecilia had to say in that case, I have two siblings or three or four. When you have brothers, brothers are boys and sisters are girls. But when you have boys and girls, you say siblings, siblings, siblings. When you say brothers, only men. If you say sisters, only girls. But if you say siblings, you have brothers and sisters. Now, this is the way that you usually speak. I, sub, and the verb, and then the verb. So you usually do that. You usually do it. But there is another way. For example, and this is commonly used when you consider that it's, in, it's not important the person who performed the action. So you say, a person was killed this morning in San Salvador. A person was killed this morning in San Salvador. So when you say a person was killed this morning in San Salvador, that is called passive voice, yes? And this is something that we are going to study today. So it is pretty easy, but I'm going to show you um, how to do it.
here you are. So you will see it in some seconds. Let me know when you can see it. Yes. All right. So when you talk yes, about teacher. good, thank you. So when you talk yes, about teacher. good, thank you. So when you talk about um, passive voice, there you have a conversation between Daniel and Jessica. So Daniel and Jessica are having a conversation and this conversation is about reputation. Yes. When we say reputation is like when you say in Spanish, you say, uh, esa empresa es conocida porque los productos no sirven. So that is reputation. The reputation can be good or can be bad. In this case, what I'm saying is bad, but something positive is when you say, Esa empresa es conocida por la alta calidad en sus productos. So, in that case, you're saying something positive. That reputation is positive. So, reputation can be positive and also negative. So, it all depends on your company at the end. It all depends on your company. How you work is the most important thing. Now, if we say that we have, like, reputation... And you say this company is none. When you say this company is none, you're going to say like, let's see, Oscar is going to be in this case, Daniel, and just in the first part, just where you say Daniel, Jessica, Daniel, Jessica, only in that part, just to check the structure. First person is going to be Oscar, Daniel, and Constantine is going to be Jessica. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Red, we produce clothes for kids. <clears throat> I see. And what is Rex known for? Red is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Great. Oh, only the first two parts. Good. Continue? Thank you. No, only the first two parts. Oh, okay, okay. Because we are going to analyze right now. So it says, so Jessica, what does your company do? And then Jessica says, at Rex, Rex is the name of the company. We produce clothes for kids, for children. And then Daniel says, I see. And what is Rex known for? What is Rex known for? Uh, en qué es reconocido Rex? And Jessica says, Rex is known for the modern designs. Rex is known, Rex es reconocido por, Rex is known for the modern designs. So now I'm going to ask you. Let's see. Caesar. What is your company known for? Can you repeat this? What is your company known for? What is your company known for? What does mean known? Known means conocido, reconocido. reconocido. Oh. So, uh, as I as I uh, Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Caesar. Yes. Sorry. So Iron Man. It's a. Uh, is known for it's known for a station 
repair, sorry, it's known by the repair, repair station. So, Aeroman is known for its repair station. Good, 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 good. Another thing why Aeroman is known. Let's see, Christian. Okay, um, also is known for for delivery of the first world class aircraft maintenance. Good, 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 good. Constantino? Yeah, Aroman is known for the quality in, in his service. Quality in its service, its service. In, in its service. Perfect. So Aeroman is known for its quality in its service. Perfect. So this is passive voice. When you say es conocido, es reconocido, es uh, evaluado, and like that. And this is the conversation about. Daniel says, so Jessica, what does your company do? And Jessica says, at Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? En que es conocido Rex? Rex, la compañía. Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Yes, and then Daniel says, great. And are you happy to work for Rex? It's like if I ask you, are you happy to work for Aeroman? And everyone would say yes. Then um, it says, absolutely. Rex is recognized, es reconocido, is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel, personnel, the workers, is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated. Rated means evaluado o catalogado is rated as one of the test, ten, ten, sorry, most prestigious companies in El Salvador. So Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. And this is passive voice. When you say is recognized, es reconocido, so you're going to say, ¿por qué tiene is y luego tiene el verbo? Pero el verbo está como en el pasado. A eso se le llama pas voz pasiva. Cuando primero se pone el verbo to be y luego se pone un, un verbo que va a estar en algo que se llama pasado participio. Y ese pasado participio funciona en este caso como un adjetivo. Cuando usted dice, my house is beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective. So in this case, Rex is recognized. Recognized is an adjective. But where do you get the adjective from? From a verb. But this kind of verbs is a topic that you have for beginner, if I don't make a mistake, it is beginners five or six. Five or six, you're going to see uh, the past participle of a verb. And how would you say, for example, let's see, Luis, how would you say Iron Man is mm, evaluado? Iron Man is evaluado. Iron Man is rated. Exactly, Iron Man is evaluated. And in that case, that is passive voice, is evaluated. Next one. Joshua, how do you say, uh, yo soy supervisado por mi jefe? I'm supervisor for my boss. Good. So you're going to say I'm or I am because first you use the verb be supervised because supervised is going to be with ed supervised by by my boss by by is for 
by my boss. Now, Nancy. Mm -hmm. La fiesta es organizada por Hugo. The party is organized for Hugo? By Hugo. By Hugo. Yes? By ese, Hugo. Exactly. En ese caso no van a decir for Hugo, sino que van a decir by. Cuando la persona que, que hizo la acción está al final, ustedes dicen by. Porque ¿quién, quién creó la, la, la fiesta? Hugo. Entonces, si se fijan, Hugo no está al inicio de la oración. Hugo está hasta allá al final. Porque lo más importante es la acción, lo que sucedió. ¿Qué sucedió? Que la fiesta es organizada. ¿Qué es Hugo? Es irrelevante. Pero se agrega al final, ¿verdad? Y se dice by. So, the party is organized by Hugo. Next one, Adolfo. How do you say el vuelo es cancelado cuando tenemos problemas? The flight was cancelled when when appears a problem. When a problem appears. When a problem appears. Good. The only thing is that you said uh, the flight was cancelled. Was cancelled is the past, and in the present it is cancelled. Okay. The flight is cancelled mm -hmm. uh, because problems appears yes good 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 now david how do you say la máquina está la máquina es reparada por oscar the the machine fixed no but the fixed machine no hold on La máquina es reparada. The machine is, is repaired. Exactly, the machine by, is. Oscar. By Oscar. Mm -hmm. So you would say the machine is repaired by Oscar or the machine is fixed by Oscar. Last one, Felix. How do you say How do you say la comida o las pupusas if you want to say las pupusas son entregadas por Nancy Imagine that Nancy makes pupusas so she has a business and she the, the verb is deliver. So she delivers the pupusas in San Salvador. So she goes to different houses. So how do you say uh, las pupusas o son, um, what, do you, what do you say? Son entregadas. Pupusas son entregadas. Por Nancy, thank you. Pupusas. Is no because you have pupusas in plural. Are. Mm -hmm. Pupusas. Are. Pupusas are. Or tamales. Someone, someone said tamales over there. Mañana lleva a Felix. Uh, I don't know. Entregar. Deliver. Uh, I don't say. Deliver. Delivery. Uh, deliver. So? By Nancy. Exactly. Pupusas are delivered by Nancy. Yes? And this is an easy topic. Is just to use the verb be and then the verb. 
So is delivered, are delivered when it is plural. If it is singular, is. If it is plural, are. Yes? Now it's time yeah. for your presentations because Joshua said that last time it was too late and he was sleepy. So we are going to start right now. And it is true. We finished late because I guess you were one by one. So now you're going to be in pairs. So probably it is faster. Now let's see. Melvin, who's your partner? Oscar. Mm -hmm. Constantino, who's your partner? Adolfo. Good. Nancy, who's your partner? Cecilia. Good. Christian, Carolina, I know. Hugo? My partner is Joshua. Good. David, who's your partner? David? David. Eduardo, Eduardo Baires. And where is Eduardo Baires? He's a new student. But where is Eduardo? Do you know? I don't know. Y se comunicó con él para hacer la tarea. Yes, yes. ¿Y, y qué le dijo? Yes, este, this the organize uh, all the topic and the device for for you know dividimos las partes ya lo tenemos todo pero nunca no sé por qué no apareció texting texting yeah texting okay so send him a message and ask okay. him okay good Caesar who's your partner Felix good Luis who's your partner Luis. Eh, Raúl, pero, pero fíjese que yo tuve el problema con mi celular. Por esos días no me pude conectar y no me pude comunicar con él. Solo mandé un, un mensaje a él que se comunicara conmigo, pero como le repito, tuve problemas con mi celular. No sé si me mandó mensajes o por qué. Uh, text him. Text him eh, right now. Oh, ok. Yes, text him. So first pair, so in other words, only Christian, David, and Luis don't have a partner right now. The rest of you, you have a partner. So we are going to start with Constantino and his partner. You can project the presentation over here, but, sí, yes? Este, solamente que envié mensajes al, al grupo. Mm -hmm. Y no sé si alguien me podría decir qué número es el de él, si alguien lo conoce, porque no tiene identificado ahí. Ok. And if you send it to the group? Eduardo Ahorita. Baires. Eduardo Baires. Eduardo Baires is your partner. Or who's your partner, Raúl? Raúl. Oh, it's true. Raúl is. I don't have his number. Let's see. Eh, ahí puse que se comunicara conmigo, pero como le repito, eh, tuve problemas con mi celular y hasta ahora lo pude recuperar. Bueno, ayer en la noche. Wow. Este. No, no sé si se comunicó conmigo. I guess it... O intentó. I guess it is seven one six two seven one six two six zero nine zero seven one six two six zero nine zero. So that's his number. So Constantino and your partner, you can project the presentation. Remember that in the presentation you're going to have pictures. And those okay. pictures are going to help you to express or to describe what you want to say. Only one little thing. You have the mission and the vision. You have the text. But when you say the mission and the vision, you need to turn around. And you're going to be like this, saying the mission and the vision because you don't have to read it. 
Yes, you okay. have to read it. So you have to turn around when you say the mission and the vision. Okay. So we are going to start with them. Do you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, good night. Good evening. Well, good evening, guys. Good evening, guys. Sorry, <laughs> teacher. Well, this night we are talking about or of the or company. Uh, its name Prato Auto Parts. And the meaning is racing and tuning parts. And our company is 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 dedicated to sell accessories and different kind of, of parts for automotive for all automotive types of the highest performance and quality. And I am charge of and manager and the general manager and my partner is manager of the of the contability and the mission is 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 the is the next is the next description okay the, the mission create a new trend in the sales of uh, accessories of parts and providing the best uh, price and uh, the best uh, uh, service and high performance in parts. And that your visit on our, uh, our store is a, a pressure and comfortable giving you the best um, uh, uh, solution. Yeah. Okay. The division. Okay. The vision is is to be. Is the vision is to be first option when you need an accessory or or part and. Science will science we have the the best the best brand the best high performance parts and accessories and accessories the best quality and for all automotive automotive uh, industry. And, and my um, I am I I I charge up the of manager general manager and I charge up of of the of the define the strategic guidelines of the company as well as short medium and long term goals. In addition, coordinate and supervise the different functional areas of the company. Also evaluate, also to evaluate the result obtain, obtaining in the different areas of the company. And next, and, and the, the three, the three, for the, the organization and is human factor. Human factor is human resource. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> human resource. And this area is divided into into types of four sorts. And the first is is a staff selection. The staff selection is charge out the selecting personnel for different for for different different type type areas in the company, and also 
provide the provide the um, provide the material for training and, and and for good practice inside the company and and the other area is is payroll payroll is charge up the preparing the payroll <laughs> also charge up the the receive the receive the details of overtime of of the staff and also i i describe the part the part of the finance finance department i describe about i talk about the the treasurer the treasurer is responsible for payment receive the money for sales and remit to the bank and and preparing report for 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 general manager okay i i continue okay. describing with the financial department uh, is responsible of uh, preparing a financial statement uh, uh, pnl balance sheet cash flow in charge of analyzing uh, of <clears throat> profitability uh, the general uh, contract is charge of the register and revenues expenses and uh, is responsible for of doing all um, legal producer with a government entity uh, commercial department is sure of uh, determining the uh, commercial polite polite and of the company such as define, the definition, definition of price as possible client, uh, determination of payment term, uh, import order, uh, and contact with international, international supplier. Uh, sales is responsible for attending uh, seller room, uh, besides in charge of uh, uh, coordination of shipping parts uh, of or claims in charge of doing cyclic inventory and annual inventory. Supply chain in charge of uh, supplying parts uh, in charge of uh, getting on with supplier and analyzing new proposed that um, supply uh, company need. Uh, and, and thank you. Is, thank you to describe our company. <laughs> Good job. So let's give it up for them. Activate your microphone and you can clap. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well, uh, I was taking notes about the presentation. And as you know, we always have... <laughs> As we know, we always evaluate pronunciation, vocabulary that you use. We also check structure, like grammar structure that you're using, if it is correct or not. And the other thing that we are checking is also the way that you express your ideas, if they are expressed in the correct way. Now, all things were good. Probably in a structure, only two things, but the rest of mistakes that you had were in pronunciation. So that is something positive because in pronunciation you can correct it so i can tell you the first one the pronunciation is no is no sale it's no sale it is sell 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 next one pronunciation is strategy 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 is the pronunciation next one uh, it's not areas, it is areas. 
Next one, it's no human resource. It is human resources in plural, human resources. Then the pronunciation. It's no preparing, it is preparing. Preparing, preparing. Next one, pronunciation is not register, it is register, register, register. Then the pronunciation, it's not responsible, responsible, it is responsible, responsible, responsible. Next one, pronunciation, it is definition, definition, definition is the correct pronunciation. So as you can see, most of the mistakes that you had were related to pronunciation. So no big problem, but now you know the correct pronunciation of those words. Something that I suggest is that when you have a presentation, go to the, the dictionary that I showed you last time that is word reference. You put the word over there and you click on the pronunciation so that you can hear how the word is pronounced. Yes, so that when you're having a presentation, you reduce the quantity of mistakes. Now, the other two mistakes that you had were in the structure. And the first one is that you said, um, the first one you're saying, I'm charge up, I'm charge up. So it's not I'm charge up, it is I am or I'm in charge up. I'm in charge of, so you need to say in. Next one. Then you said, I charge of, I charge of, mm -mm. I am in charge of, I'm in charge of, or I am in charge of, but you always say in charge of. Same thing happened with the other one that you were saying. You were saying, uh, this department is charge of, is charge of, it is exactly the same. This department is in charge of. So you say in charge of. So most of your mistakes were in pronunciation. So that's something positive because you can correct it easily. So the first group was Constantino and Adolfo. All right, good job, good job. Just try to correct the pronunciation and next presentation, try to get the pronunciation before the presentation so that you can do it even better, yes? Because today you have like 10 words that you didn't know the pronunciation, probably next time they will be only five or three or two and like that. Good, next person, Nancy, Thanks. who's your partner? You're welcome, Thanks. you're welcome. Who's your partner, Nancy? Cecilia. Cecilia. Good. So yes. next one, Cecilia mm -hmm. and Nancy. Mm -hmm. Green store. Okay, um, our company is called Queensar, and we are dedicated in distributing uh, our different type of makeup. And change the diapositive. <laughs> The organization chart of our company, Gwingstar, which is divided into the following departments. CEO, administration, marketing, human resources, warehouse. And the mission. Okay. The mission is to the best makeup, Distribution company um, offering the best the best quality in low price. 
Audition is to become the number one makeup store of, of the country. Mm, and this part we were talking about our responsibility and our use department. The CEO is accountable for managing the whole operation of the, of the company. This department is a Ministry of Finance. I am in charge of. I am. I am in, is in charge of this department. Is um, evaluating, the controlling the human resources, materials, the economics of the company's sector. The marketing department is accountable for selling the products. The department of human resources is in charge of of the selection and hiring of the company staff. And the warehouse is, uh, is in charge of, uh, of storing and distributing the products uh, and I'm in charge of a uh, warehouse. Okay. Thanks for your attention. That's Thanks. That's Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Let's give it up for them. Okay, so it was vocabulary, pronunciation, and structure. Now let's start with the first one vocabulary. I know that Cecilia probably didn't know the meaning of the word and she tried to use um, the appositive, but it's not the appositive, it is a slide. Next slide. Yes, so slide is a word for the appositiva, slide. Then when you were saying the mission, Cecilia, you said to the best, to the best, to the best, and it has to be to be. To be the best, this, this, and this, and this. Yeah. Then in pronunciation, price is singular. But when you say plural, you say prices. Price singular and price is plural. Then pronunciation. Uh, it's no goal operation. Goal operation is whole operation. The whole operation. Whole means the complete operation. I guess that was the word that you used, Nancy? Yes. So in that case, W-H-O-L-E is whole, the whole operation, the complete operation. Then, <clears throat> let's see, you were saying, I am is in charge of. I am is in charge of, it has to be I am in charge of, but if you're talking about an object or a department, because in that case you were talking about a department, this department is in charge of, and then you mentioned what. So those were the things that uh, you need to correct. Yes. So there are not many things, but some things that you really need to correct. So good job. Thank you. Now, next one. Joshua, who's your partner? Hugo. Me, teacher. Good. Partner is Hugo. Good, so Hugo and Joshua. Okay. Start. Yes, you can start. 
Okay, uh, good evening, teacher and classmate. Good evening. Today I am talking about our company name is. I'm sorry. The Certain Garden. Our company name is the Certain Garden. Is our company about cells, cactus, and different plants. The first slide is about the logo of the company. Okay, in our company, there are four different departments. Each department have different roles. Number one is our first department is customer service. And this staff is in charge of carrying to the, the requirement the customer. And also is in charge of a keep, keeping, keeping the accountable or accountable receivable, receivable. And number two, the other department is shipping. Shipping is in charge of in bearing the old products and to door or whatever you um, request or whatever you want. And this, de this department always arrive on time. And number three, and the other department is Pension. The pension is in charge of decorating the different flower pots with paint and different design that our customer uh, needed or, or wanted. And, and then this department is in charge of uh, is in charge of uh, delivery, reporting one delivery as sales arises. And, and the last one, uh, maintaining personal. The maintaining personal is in charge of and the keeping control the all cactus in on in, on. In, our company and also um, is in charge of making the respective arrangement when your delivery up. Okay, this is my part. Next, my partner who Okay, um, the values of the the certain garden as conservation, respect, uh, sorry, is conservation twice, is preservation. Uh, the most important value in the company is uh, the respect because we are respect from the nature and the, uh, also to uh, our clients. They are uh, very important in our system from a uh, business. Uh, now, is, this is the desertic mission. The mission is provide to the customer the most beautiful natural experience with Hundred class of cactus. Enjoy nature near in houses, offices, in the most personal space. Uh, for us, uh, desertic vision uh, is uh, to be leaders in the market, deliver more marketplaces, have a regional presence 
and near to more clients and save and preserve the nature. Uh, teaching about cactus and more plants. Uh, it's definitive. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. Let's give it up for them. It's all. Good. Let's give it up for them. Just one little thing, Hugo. Can you project the presentation again and go to the first slide? Uh, I just want to see something. Okay. There is the presentation fish. Yeah, but the first one, the first slide. The ah, the first, first one. one. Ah, okay. That one, that one. So what is the name of the company? The Celtic Garden. Oh, because below it's Celtic Garden. Garden. Because below you have our company name is Desert Garden. So then I was like, Oh, it's a mistake. Okay. It's a mistake, it's a, teacher. It's a mistake. Okay, so yeah, because I was like desert. The letter yellow is the name. Oh, right. Good, yeah. good, 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 good. It's a botanic, bot company, botanic. Botanic company. Good. Now let's see just little things. Pronunciation, it's not number, it's number, number, number. Pronunciation is not first, it is first, first. Oh. So you pronounce it like air, first. Cuando, siempre que vean ahí la R en medio de una palabra, siempre se va a pronunciar como una E. Entonces usted va a decir birthday, no dice birthday, dice birthday. Un pajarito, bird. Uh, first, fur, shirt, skirt. Entonces, ese es el sonido. Then, um, you said... This department always arrive on time. This department always arrive on time. It is not arrive, it is arrives with the S because you're talking about a department and the department is it. Yes, so this department arrives always on time. Or it's better this, de this department, or, yes, this department always arrives on time is correct. Next one, pronunciation is no flower, it is flower, 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 flower. Then the pronunciation is design, design, design. Next one, pronunciation is not sales, it is sales, sales, oh. sales. Next one, the pronunciation is maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. And uh, something that you did and that the other two groups didn't do was that you included the values. And that is something good because I remember that I told you to include the values of the company. So good for you because you include the values. Now, next one, pronunciation, nature, nature, no nature, but nature, nature, nature. And you wrote the mission, but you didn't add two. If you go to the slide of the mission, you didn't start with two. You only said mission. What is the mission? It's to be. The mission. Mission, mission. Provide. Exactly, you had only provide, and it has to be to provide. To provide. provide. No. Exactly, to provide. Now, something curious. When you say cactus, are you talking about only one or you're talking about a lot? Uh, it's a lot of families of cactus. Oh, right. Now let's see. A lot of plants, a lot of cactus. A lot of cactus. So this is the mistake. I, I just want to confirm something, but I want you to check it because I don't want to make a mistake either because I don't know much about these plants. But I know that cactus is singular. C 
cactus is singular. Can you Google, and you can Google it right now, the plural form, but in English, the plural form of cactus, because I guess you don't say cactus. I guess you said cactus or cactus. I guess it is cactus. Cactus, I guess, is the plural for cactus, if I don't make a mistake. Is is cactus. The plural form. The plural form. Mm, I guess it is cactus. If I don't make a mistake, it is cactus. But it's not cactus because cactus is one. Uh, not cactus, teacher. Cactus. It is cactus, right? Cactus. So yes. that is like the plural form. That is something that I have in my mind because I remember once I was watching, um, it, it was a TV channel where people talk about plants and how you need to plant the trees and the flowers and like that. And they were saying the difference between cactus because cactus is one, but when you say plural, you need to say cactus. So that's just a difference for you to know. And next time you know how to say it. Good, so good job. It was really, really interesting. Good. Thank Next you. one, you're welcome. Next one, Oscar and your partner is? Me teacher. Melvin. Melvin. So let's listen to them. <clears throat> Melvin presentation, please. Right now. La, 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 la. <clears throat> You see you? Uh, yeah. Okay. I start. Yes, you can start. Okay. Okay. Uh, the name, good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Uh, the name of our company is Smart. Bysmart is a company that sells basic products with, with average uh, rice, beans, cheese, sugar, salt, fish, vegetable, fruits, and more products. Um, and toys, uh, uh, things for babies, and, and something, uh, drinks. Uh, and next, please. Okay, uh, our mission. <laughs> our mission is to conquer day by day the satisfaction of our clients and collaborators uh, in all country through fresh and top quality products and excellent customer service on El Salvador. <clears throat> okay, next please. Uh, Melvin says uh, the vision of the company. Okay, uh, my vision the company is to be the leading or the distribution for essential products in the national market. Uh, working, working together with a strategic, uh, strategic supplier of different brands. Um, comply with the requiring of the quality and hygiene, eating and time in delivery. Next. Our company, uh, no, no, no. Back, please. Okay. Uh, our company 
has has different departments. Uh, first, general manager, a commercial department, vice department, and administrative area. Area. I'm in charge of of commercial department. This department has a uh, four sub department: marketing, call center. Uh, online sales and sales rooms. In the marketing, uh, in the marketing team, is in charge of uh, for giving publicity uh, to our products to future clients uh, by different by different social networks. Our call center team is in charge of, of attending the calls uh, with questions and complaints of our clients. <clears throat> uh, back, please. No, um, back, 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 ay, 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 ay. Uh, online online sales. Uh, Bismar has website and has people attending uh, this website and attending online sales and has sales rooms. The sales room, our clients can buy uh, the favorite products. Next, uh, Melby. Continue, uh, please. The vice department is uh, Acre Brook and Warehouse and Distribution. Warehouse is preparing the product. The distribution is delivery for a client. Uh, I am in charge of area administrative area as well con counting or cost and audit. Audit the for sale, audit or accounting, accounting the administration. Thank you for your attention. Good job, good job. So let's give it up for them. Good. Well, most of your, your mistakes were in pronunciation. So let's see what kind of mistakes you had in pronunciation. First one, uh, Oscar, it's no evening. You have only two sounds. Two sounds. So two sounds are evening. Evening. So you say good evening. Good evening. Two sounds. No evening. Only two evening. sounds. Evening. So that is one. Good evening. Then you said products it's not products you you can take notes about the pronunciation so that you can practice it in your house and maybe someone else wants to, to know the pronunciation and wants to improve pronunciation you can also take notes it's not products it is products products then you said something drinks and something drinks something drinks it's only some drinks, oh, okay. some drinks, because if you say something, you're saying algo. And when you say Products. some, you're saying algunas, some drinks. Now, pronunciation is not the die after die. It is day after day, day after day. Yes, day after day. Then the other one is, is not customer, it is customer. 
customer 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 next one it's not on el salvador you need to say in el salvador when you have a country you say in san salvador the city in el salvador the country because you are inside the country you are inside the okay. city so for all countries and cities you always say in 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 no on on is sobre in dentro de then pronunciation is no says melvin says mm -mm. melvin says so i says. say i say you says. say they say but he says she says it says but i say we say you say and they say only for he she and it you have to say says now next one the pronunciation is strategic and the noun is strategy then the other word uh hygiene was the pronunciation then you say something in, in spanish you said abarrotes or abarrots or something like that but it is groceries 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 those are the groceries then you said difference and this is something important and thank you for for saying or for making this mistake oscar because i can explain it and probably the rest of people can understand adjectives never get plural adjectives never get plural so you cannot say uh christian and nancy are tolls because in Spanish you say altos. So in English, you don't need to say tolls. You don't need to say beautifuls. You don't need to say bigs, intelligence. No, you only say they are intelligent. The plural is in the person. Next one, pronunciation is social network. Social, no social, social network, social network. Then is no sales. It is sales, sales, sales. Next one, pronunciation is not favorite, is favorite, favorite, favorite. Next one, you said vice department, but it's not vice department, it is purchase department, or purchases in plural department, purchases department, if you want to say. Then pronunciation is not area, it is area area then it's not it's not a accounting it is accounting accounting the area accounting the person accountant then pronunciation is not attention it is attention shun shun so it is like shh, attention yes thank you for your attention Thank you for your attention. Yes. So those are the words, as you can see, it is more like pronunciation. So you need to work on that. But in general, it was really good and interesting too. Good service, good service. Now, next one. Sure. Yes. Uh, how do you say uh, higiene? Hygiene. 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 Okay. Yes. Good. Next one. Caesar. Okay, good evening everyone. Yes. Uh, tonight we, are, we will show you about our company. It's, in, it's, a, it's a restaurant of Monster Burger. My partner uh, will explain to you about the mission. We provide 
an extraordinary quality, uh, very fine of production with unique service experience uh, with placement, cleaning safety environment. Then we have the vision. The vision of, of the, this restaurant is to be recognized as a chain of restaurants that provides to the community for the quality, good taste, and where every client comes out, satisfied without service and food. Then you will see the organization chart, some old company, some old restaurant, in first place, first place we have the general manager who is the who is in charge of the administrating the all the resorts for the company, the restaurants. Then we have the human resources who is in charge of hiring all the personnel for the different areas in, in this restaurant. And the last department or area is the service. In the service area, we will find the different jobs, like the chef, who is the responsible for cooking every, every hamburger in menu or, 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 or a snack. My partner, Felix, will explain to you about the, the other two jobs. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Uh, the cashier, person who in charge of people payment uh, and delivery service, uh, person in charge of taking order from the, the customer. And that's it, the organization, the organization chart of all our restaurants. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. That's it? Yes, that's it. Okay, good it's a, job. It's a small company. Okay, good job. Thank you. So let's give it up for them. Well, I only could identify pronunciation mistake and also one thing in the structure. So in a structure, remember that you always say, I am in charge of. This department is in charge of. This department is in charge of. If you mention a person, the manager is in charge of. The human resources department is in charge of. So you always use the verb be and then in charge of in the company. Now, the rest is pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation is variety, variety, a variety, variety, variety. Then it is first, no first. It is first, first, first. Next one. Uh, Pronunciation is not human, it is human, human resources, human resources. Same thing for uh, burger, burger or ham, hamburger, hamburger. Because you have ham is jamón, so ham, burger. When you see the H, you pronounce it like <sighs> hamburger, human, hero, he, and like that. There are some exceptions, like when you say honest, honest, you don't say honest. But in most of the words that are with H, you pronounce the H like So you say he, hello, house. Yes, and like that, horse. Now, that's it. Those were the mistakes. So it was short, as you said. Probably you missed like the values and other things, but it was good. So good job. Next one, let's see who's missing. 
Well, Luis, Christian, and David, but what did your classmates say? Christian? Christian? Oh, she doesn't, it's true, she doesn't have power at home. So in the case of Christian and Carolina, the problem is that Carolina texted me uh, early before class and she didn't have power. And it is true because Christian is sending her messages and there is not like a check on it. Now, Luis. Uh, well, I don't have a diapositivas. Slides. Slides, uh, because I didn't have a, a cell phone and, and I work in my cell phone. But if you want, can I try to explain the my company? All right. Or <clears throat> I can try. Okay. So we are going to do something, Christian. In your case, because you are here, as Luis is here, so at least it is your responsibility to be in class. Obviously, I'm not going to judge Carolina because it's something that happens. And I guess most of you have had the problem that you don't have power at home and what can you do? Anything. That happened to me like, I don't know, like three weeks ago. No, three weeks ago, no. I don't know, like four or five weeks ago. The same thing before class, I was super worried because we were missing just like 20 minutes before class. And I say, what happened? There is no power. But like five minutes before class, it came back. So I was safe, but that can happen to anyone here in class. So I consider that that situation is understandable. But for the rest of people that they are not telling me anything. So I don't know about, let's see. Raul and I don't know about Carlos, so I don't know what happened to them. So David, do you know what happened to your partner? I don't know what I happened. Did you text him? Yes, I text him. Did I he answer? Don't. No, not the right. answer. So but. do you have something ready? Yeah. All right. So to respect your opinion, Christian, because you are in class, you will pass today and your evaluation will be today. And maybe you tell Carolina the part that she's going to mention tomorrow. So I can evaluate her tomorrow in the last minutes. But obviously, uh, because you are here, you will present your part. Same thing, David, you are here, you will present your part. If your partner wants to present it tomorrow, the score will be different because they didn't say anything. I don't know if they are working. I don't know if they are uh, in the hospital. I don't know if they don't have power. I don't know anything. So they don't say anything. So there is a difference in there. So the score will be different for your partner. Same thing for Lewis. At least you are here. You don't have a presentation, but you are here and you want to do it. Otherwise, your guys didn't say anything, but you will do it. So your score will be safe. So let's start with Luis. Well, for start my continue my presentation, I have a question for you. Um, have you ever heard about uh, Uber or in drive? Yes. Well. I have. Okay. Um, uh, we have a we have a a company with my brother. Well, it's a little company or something like that. Uh, because the name the company is Transport Costa Azul. Well, I live in the Costa Azul. <clears throat> uh, my partner is my brother. Uh, we have a little business. Well, you know, uh, I live in Costa del Sol, and here there are hotel, uh, restaurant, uh, a lot of business. 
And este, we have a coverage of the coastal zone, uh, maybe 15 or 20 kilometers for uh, this, uh, this is, give give them the transportation for everybody uh, for everybody the uh, people well our best our mission is provide to transport service of ex of excellent quality and opportunity based on the satisfaction of the demands of the customer <clears throat> when i say opportunity because we need another people uh, join us because we need the flota. Our, sorry, oh. we we have the flota, and our uh, and forgive the transportation and another person. It's a good job <clears throat> with my partner is my brother. Uh, we need a, uh, or we have, we have and we need. Uh, we sorry, we are recognized in our department or our place because we we have uh, sorry, we have um, transport. Well, my vision, our vision, uh, we have to recognize to in the department or the country uh, because we have commitment our customer environment why environment uh, because uh, we have the little car with a uh, little motor and so that's all do you have a mission and vision yeah i have a mission and vision uh, for mission is provide a transport service Excellence, quality, and opportunity uh, based on the satisfaction of demand uh, of the customer. In the vision, yes. In the vision, you have to reconcile in the department or the country. Uh, we have a commitment with our customer and the environment. And the environment, because we have a, uh, the car with a little motor. Good, 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 good. I just wanted to confirm some information, but good. So let's okay. give it up for him. Good job. Thanks. All right, Luis. So first of all, you said a lot of business. A lot of business has to be a lot of business. A lot of. A lot of business. A lot of business. And business is singular, so you say a lot of businesses. Then you said there are there are hotel, there are hotel, there are, and then you mentioned other things. So when you say there are, you're talking about plural. So you cannot say there are hotel. You need to say there are hotels because there are is plural. So you say hotels in plural. Then you said forgive them transportation. Forgive, forgive them transportation has to be to give them transportation. Yes, to give them transportation. To is para, to give them transportation. Then you said for everybody, people, everybody, people, mm, everybody is todo mundo. And people, gente, todo mundo, gente, mm -mm. probably every person, every person. Or all people, all people, you can say, all people. Then pronunciation is not based, it is based. So you're based on, based on, and I do. Then pronunciation is satisfaction, satisfaction. Then pronunciation, it is recognized, recognized, recognized. And you said flota. When you talk about uh, like cars and things like that, you need to say fleet, fleet, fleet. 
And the reason why I asked you about the mission and the vision is because I wanted to hear something because I, I said probably I couldn't hear. But the thing is that you were saying the mission and the mission was provide. But when you start a mission, you need to start with two, to provide, to offer, and like that. Yes, mission and vision so start with two, to provide, to offer, and like that. But good job, because as you were saying, probably you didn't have a partner next to you supporting you, but at least you, you did it great. So good job. Next one. Thanks. You're welcome. David. Okay, teacher. Will you project? Okay. You can see. Yes. You're projecting right now? Yeah. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Roller pizza. Uh -huh, yeah. Good. Wait. You project? You're projecting right now. Okay. Okay, start. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My, my company, it's a roller pizza. It's a delicious pizza. <laughs> For the mission. To be, uh, to be the best chain of pizza, pizzeria to take home with product of extraordinary taste with the pride, the best pride. Vision to prepare pizza with the best quality and excellent service. Wait, can you? Can you see? Yes. Okay. And company structure, Roller Pizza, general manager, Ricardo de Leon, and personal officer, Carlos Eduardo Barrier. And general manager is his charger of manager finance in chair and heater, personal and supervise, the wall, the functional, the each one. Supply manager is the change of maintenance, the ingredient, cleaning tools, looking from provide and furniture in stock and good condition. Kitchen chef, kitchen chef. It is the shine, it is cha charging or supervise the kitchen and another and in charging of assignment each job to the chef personal officer it is it is a shiner a charger of organize the personal of all of kitchen clean the personal and guard and security guard Pulse, pulse machine agent in the charger of attending the provides and in a charger of go to the stock and in is not nece it's necessary. Um, car, car and chef one is in this charger of the cook and make dishes. Chef two. In the share of the cookies, the secondary dishes, and salad, and and dessert, and other. And she assign assignment. A share of the assistant chef. It is necessary on in share to cleaning on cookies stuff. And junior. Is chair of the main and the main tenant and cleaning facilities. And water, it is a charter of the college to the other 
ingredient and to prepare the salt. Is thank you for your attention. Okay, good job. Let's give it up for him. Good. Now let's see, David. You said first of all, is a delicious pizza. Is a delicious okay. pizza. You, if you say is, is is the verb and the subject. Mm -hmm. So you need to say it is, it is a delicious pizza or the contraction it's, it's okay. a delicious pizza. Then the most important part, and this is something that you really, really need to correct because you repeat it like 10 times, the same mistake. Uh -huh. The structure is, I am in charge of. I am in charge of. You're going to see it on the screen right now. So that probably because that was so far, you couldn't see it pretty well. But you need to say, I am in charge of. So I am in charge of. And I then you say what? Of. If it is he, you say he is in charge of. But you don't say charger. Because you were okay. saying he charged off, he charger, it's not charger. He okay. is in charge of, in charge, in charge. of, in charge. Oh. I'm in charge of, he's in charge of, and like that. And after of, you need the gerund, in charge of presenting, in charge of sending, in charge of reading, and like that. Next one, pronunciation, it is no agent, it is agent, Me. agent. Uh, let's see the other one. Pronunciation. It is purchasing, 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 purchasing. You wanted to say compra or comprar, Purchase. purchasing. Next one. Pronunciation. It is maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Yes? Good. Okay. So, good job. And thank you for being responsible because you are here. Next one that is alone is Christian. So Christian, tell us about your company. Okay, uh, I'm sure my, my screen right now. Okay, guys, can you see? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, the company is Secret Start, a security and innovation service company for your home or business. Uh, the mission and the vision is, okay, uh, to provide that our client and associated have a maximum satisfaction and benefit through each solution, product and, or service maintaining a high level of working condition for our collaborator and high profitability uh, for our shareholders. The vision uh, to be a leading company in the business and residential digital security service. Um, with the highest responsibility uh, productivity, quality, and, and dedication. So, um, departments of the company is communications that, uh, okay, this, uh, they are in charge of, uh, showing the public and internal internal news of the company sharing the sharing the relevant news on events to come in the company next one is sales okay sales this is the charge of of the products 
allow you to know the market and the, the most appropriate moment to launch our new products and new service for the sale. And the next one is engineering and development. He is in charge of, of developing new equipment update for existence one and provide support for Euro presented and and the older equipment and and the service already made in public. And the last department is accountancy. Uh, in the accountancy, it's in charge of, of evaluating the stability of the sales numbers, uh, the prices of the product and the net profitability, profit, sorry, profitability of the company. This, this constantly evaluate uh, the chain of the company, the chain of the, the market uh, to make a, to make a better, a better change that are necessary in the company Okay, yeah. it's all okay. Uh, and uh, I am part of engineering department where I can work on product improvements to provide a better quality in each delivery. And we work with, we work directly with people and a catalog, catalog of service or products is presented to today and the customer decide their best option for for you for your necessity okay it's all thank you for your attention Good job, so let's give it up for him. Good, now let's see. First one is pronunciation, it is associate, associate, associate. The next one is pronunciation too, it is public, not public, but public, public, public. 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 <laughs> Next one, uh, you said error, and it is error, error, error. Then you said your nece your nece necessary or something like that, but it is necessary. Oscar, your microphone. Mm -hmm. Necessity. Sorry. Necessity is the word or you can say need your needs or your necessities good just that then the rest of the information was super super good and it was an interesting company too security nowadays it is famous this kind of company so i just want to finish with some ideas in general as you can see you are doing well the main problem that you're having someone has a microphone on the main problem that you're having is just that you are having problems with pronunciation but probably because the words are new some words are new but there are other words like in charge of is not new that's something that we studied in class so you have to know the pronunciation of it, of that word same thing happens with pronunciation like, uh, for example, we, che we check values, no values, so values. So that's vocabulary that we also studied in class. Or things like accounting, accounting, uh, area, department. So those words that we studied in class, you have to know how to pronounce them. 
probably those that are new for you. Next time, before your presentation, check the pronunciation so that when you're presenting here, it will be completely perfect. Yes? So just try to work on that. Now, to finish. Imagine, you didn't know about how to use passive voice that we studied today. It's recognized, it's well known, and like that. But you were using passive voice. How do you use passive voice? In some expressions, for example, Christian was saying here, a catalog is presented. A catalog is presented. And customers select the best product, for example. So a catalog is presented. That is passive voice. A catalog is, and then the past participle, presented. And many of you use it also when you had the, the chart. You were saying the departments are divided or the company is divided in 10 departments and like that. So there you are using the passive voice too. Now, something that I want to tell you before finishing. Well, right now we have only four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 13 people. Yes, 13 people. There are four people missing. We have Carolina. I have the, a question, Bishop. Yes. The other one is Carlos, Raul, and I don't remember the other guy, but there are four people missing. Now, what happened if you are missing, guys? If you remember, you can miss only, uh, let's say, three or four classes. The most is going to be four. Acceptable is three when you are sick. And why? Because according to what you sign, it is said that you need to be in class 80% of the classes. Because if you are not 80% of the classes, INSA Forb doesn't pay for your classes. So in other words, you have to pay for it. So that's what I'm telling you. And it is a big problem because later you say, no, I didn't know, I didn't know. But yeah, when they tell you uh, the beginning of the courses, they tell you once you start the process, you have to finish it. When you start a, a course, you have to finish it. And that is the reason because later you know that you have to pay. it. So that's why I'm telling you to be in class every day. Sometimes it is like impossible. For example, Carolina had a baby last week. So she gave birth. I don't know if it was on Tuesday or Wednesday. No, it was. Yeah, like Monday, probably. So when we started classes, she was giving birth. So it was impossible for her to come or at least to be in class if she was in the hospital. So those cases are understandable. But in the case of, let's say, people who don't say anything, in the case of Lewis and Nancy, they say, hey, teacher, I have a problem. This is my problem. I'm working, like in the case of David, I'm working. So I can understand. And at the end of the class, when you see over there the report that it says present, present, and then I say, oh, permission, because this person has this problem. So they can know why you are not in class. But when you disappear and you don't say anything, so that's something uh, negative because you know that the consequences are coming later. So just try to be in every single class so that you go at the same rhythm with the other students and uh, you have more possibilities to get good scores too. Because this is only the first week. So week number one finishes today. Tomorrow we start unit number two or week number two. And there are more topics that are coming. Every time the topics are coming and they are a little bit more difficult and a little bit more difficult, more difficult and more difficult. Now, for Louis, Nancy, and David that were not in class yesterday, I suggest you go to Schoology and you watch a video about the class that we had yesterday because the topic was super, super important. So I need you watch it. Now, the topics that are coming in the following units, units number two, three, and four are important too. And you will ask me why? 
because we are going to see simple past. So right now you know how to talk about the present and you know how to talk about the future because we have studied future and we have studied present, but you don't know how to talk about the past. So in this level, you are supposed to know the past. And after we finish the past, you are supposed to speak in a normal conversation because you can use the present, you can use the past and you can use the future. So that means that you can interact with your classmates. Yes, and that will be the main point. So that's why I need you all be in class. Now, Luis, what is your question? Uh, I don't know if you, we will have uh, another presentation. Exactly, you will have presentations. Can but I try with another partner? Yes, that will be uh, in the week number three, in the week number three. But there is a point. Sometimes okay. the presentations are in pairs and sometimes the presentations are individual. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it all depends on the topic. In this case, because the, the, the presentation will be long if it was individual. In my Melvin presenting his company five minutes or 10 minutes and then Nancy 10 minutes and then the other one. So probably we will have like two or three classes in presentation. So that's why I decided to put two students together in one presentation that will be probably seven minutes or eight minutes or something like that. So that we could advance faster because in the first evaluation that we had, it was oral presentation. Uh, it took a long time because it was individual, but it all depends on the topic too, because obviously some topics are going to be individual, like talking about your friend. You're not going to be in purse talking about your friends because you don't have the same friend. Okay. Yes. So it all depends on the topic, but yes, if it is, the thing is, is this, if the day that I tell you that you will have a presentation and that presentation is in purse, choose someone that you see that is in class very often. Okay. Yes? And don't miss classes because if you're not in class and all people selected someone from the class, you are out. And you need to look yeah. for another person who was not in class and maybe that yeah, person is going to miss next time. So that's why. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. So any other question, guys, before leaving? Because it's time to go. No? No, teacher. No. All right. No, teacher. So now attendance. As you know, we have attendance at the beginning and we have attendance at the end too. So I'm going to call you one by one again, just to confirm uh, the attendance and say present when you hear your name. Your microphone is on. I guess it was Louis. All right, one by one, sorry, First, sorry. no problem. Oops, so let me see. Well, I would do it from the other side. So first one, Felix Ernesto Castellanos. Felix okay. Ernesto Castellanos, good. Next one, Josue El Mundo Avalos. Present. Good. Next one, Carlos Eduardo Barrera is not here. He didn't say why. Cesar Santiago Benavides. Present. Christian Armando Cardona. Present. Adolfo Teacher, Alberto Castro. Present. Good. Present. 
Cecilia Guadalupe Castro. Present. Good. Nancy Yasmin Claudio. Present. David Ricardo de León. Present. Luis Antonio Domínguez. Present. Well, Carolina Flores didn't have internet. Hugo Ernesto Fonseca. Present. Melvin Jonathan Gallardo. Present. Oscar Present. Armando. Good. Oscar Armando Gomez. Present. Good. Constantino Guardado Guardado. Present. Good. Flor Mestizo is from Insofort. And finally, we have Raul Alfredo Quintanilla that we don't know what happened to him. So that's attendance. And we are going to continue tomorrow. Remember that we start a new unit tomorrow. Yes. So I just want to tell you congratulations for the presentations. They were really good. You are creative because you have to create a name for your company. You have to be creative to look for the pictures and show them over there to create the chart. So that's something positive too, because you are, uh, let's say, using your creativity in your presentations. So good job, congratulations. Now we are going to continue tomorrow. Thank you for being, thank you for being, Jerome. Thank you for being there. I see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. David is going to say night, night, night. Bye. <laughs>